So morning guys, final ride test on this before it goes out to the customer today and this is just a chance to get the last four miles on the bike, we always pre-test before we hand the bike over just to make sure the bike is absolutely operational as soon as we get back, phone the customer around about 9 o'clock, yes the bike is good to go so we always do the final ride test on the day of handover just to make sure that everything is all okay checked all the indicators out, lights, horn etc etc brakes absolutely spot on so I had its final checks a couple of days ago and the final QC and was all cleared for the final ride test so very very lengthy process that we do but it does assure that bikes do not come back with any issues and it's cold this morning I don't know why a horrible day yesterday it snowed middle of April and it snowed absolutely horrible British weather what we're going to do with this one today we're going to have a little bit of uh, fun around town so a little bit of a different route just something a little bit different from up and down the dual carriageways like we normally do we're going to have a little bit of a, a run around town on the urban to show you what it's like if you were riding around town obviously that brappy exhaust again but these Tempest GTs are selling like the proverbial hotcake at the moment now we see on the display on this we've been through this quite a few times you've got your miles an hour odometer meter down the bottom fuel tank is off to the right on the LED display and you've got a gear indicator so fourth gear at the moment sitting around about 30 mile an hour for the urban but we have a little bit of a, a different run around today and just show you how good the suspension is on this I do like uh, obviously coming down this road because there's plenty of speed bumps it always surprises me that the council have money to put tarmac into speed bumps they don't have enough tarmac to put in the potholes You've seen some of the rides that I do, the potholes on the roads in Milton Keynes are absolutely disgusting. Over the speed bumps and a nice hard firm suspension. Once again over a speed bump and that just soaks that up nice and good. Obviously being on a bike you can do that. Scoot around the pothole, uh, scoot around them speed bumps which is handy. You can go slow down like you do on a car. As always, gearbox on these is lovely and crisp. Clutch is adjusted absolutely perfect. And I'd always say, if you've got uh, problems changing gear, nine times out of ten it's going to be your clutch adjustment. But handles ever so well on these tyres, you can just weave it around. That tyre's nicely warmed up and scrubbed in for the customer. And these have been very well scrubbed in by me. So it's just a final ride test, put a few more miles on it, just check everything's all okay. And as always, back to the coffee, ready for another long, busy day of selling bikes, prepping bikes, more services, and some other bits and pieces. And obviously Tuesday is where we go down the park and do our bike shoots. And the uh, videos on the cars as well so we don't just do bikes as well we do cars nice big speed bump there now obviously I was going to do my normal route which takes me down to the garden centre and up on the dual carriageway they have shut the road off again the bridge died to death the other night I don't know what went over it but uh, they've now decided they've got a stream from the bridge so they've shut the road off now so all traffic into uh, Bletchley has all been diverted down the dual carriageway and round so it's like a two mile detour just to do uh, 600 yards so uh, we're having to change the route up this morning thanks to the local council and uh, 
didn't give us any prior warning. Come to work this morning, I got as far as the bridge and then I had to turn around and uh, go all the way back again. No signs up to say, bridge is shut. Thank you Milton Keynes Council. Great bit of forward planning there. And that is going to cause congestion chaos today. Absolutely crazy. Twelve point nine miles in. I may get thirteen now, so I have one mile to do. We normally put about twenty k, thirteen, fourteen miles on every bike. Make sure they're all good. <coughs> but uh, obviously, with lockdown now, everybody was out last night having drinks, having pints. I was like. Are we going for a pint, boys? No, I am not. I am not going to go and sit in a, a pub car park where there's hundreds of people sitting there with no masks on. Uh, I took a bottle of wine home and uh, sat in the garden last night. So running absolutely perfectly on this one. All good to go. I'm going to put another mile or so on it just for uh, safety's sake. But even on these low gears, that is brappy from the pool. So if you are into Lex Moto, Tempest GTs are going to be available again soon. Lex Moto stock is out of stock with all bikes everywhere and everyone's like, when's the mics, when's the mics? Obviously due to Covid, they have trouble getting bikes, like everybody does. Honda are struggling at the moment to get stuff out and we've been trying to get some spares for Hondas and got to wait for parts to come but the LXRs the new Euro 5s are selling like the proverbial and a lot of dealers are sharing my LXR video out I don't mind if you want to obviously advertise the product and I know the other bike blogger Spicy does uh, used to do a lot of Lex Moto stuff so Spicy's obviously doing stuff for Triumph at the moment he's still doing a bit of Lex Moto stuff and obviously his stuff got shared a lot so I don't mind if my stuff does get shared out sells the product and obviously long term testing we're going to take the LXR out again tomorrow because that bike has sold so we're going to be out on the LXR now there are two new scooters that are out now, so the Aura was out last time and it's been re-released Euro 5, there is a new one now, obviously the Pegasus is the 300cc version they've just released the Apollo and the Apollo is the 125 version of the Pegasus, just slightly smaller, that's going to re replace the Chieftain Nice bit of indicating there, thank you very much. So the Apollo's coming out, we've got another bike coming out next week, I know what it is. I have ordered four of those, I'm not, you can't tell, uh, obviously say what it is until the 19th. But a lot of people have got an idea what it is. But that bike is going to be out on the 19th. So we're looking forward to doing that. Now obviously I am on holiday next week. I am away for a week. And sun it up at the beach for a day. Yeah, we're going away for one day and then I'm going to come back. I'm working on the, my little man cave at the side of the house. Put a bit of a shelter over the bike and put my little shed up. So I've got somewhere to work on my bikes at home. So that's going to be a little bit of fun. It's nippy this morning. I'm just pottering around town just to add these miles on. But around town she's great for obviously a little bit of commuting, a little bit of urban riding. And people are going to hear you coming on this, which is brilliant. So I start to head back to the garage now, I think. 15 miles on it more than enough but 
something off. She's loud if you give her some juice. So if you're into a Lexmodo bike, obviously lexmodo.co.uk. Go on there, look at all the new range that is coming out. And there are loads of new bikes on the way. Some bikes are going to be discontinued, obviously with Euro 4 going to Euro 5. But most of them are going to be available and there's loads of new models coming for Euro 5. And obviously I've been blitzing on saying I'd love to see another motocrossy style bike. And there is something in the pipeline but can't say what it is. So it'll be fun when that comes out. But as always, if you happen to live near Milton Keynes or your local to us, we can deliver. Check out the link at the bottom, down here, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk. Number at the bottom 01908 643 603. Give a team a call. And following my cipher video, loads of people are inquiring about the ciphers. I love those electric bikes. Cheap, easy to maintain. Now the servicing on a standard Lex Moto is 500 kilometers, 311 miles. Then 1500, 932. And then you do every 3,000 kilometres. On those electrics, it's 500 miles, 1,500 miles, and then every 1,500 after. Servicing is going to be a hell of a lot cheaper. Not much to service on an electric bike. Which is the best bit about it. And obviously no fuel, no tax. Lower insurance as well. And uh, one of our younger customers, he said, oh, he said, I tried to get insurance on an Echo. I went, all right, what is normally about four to a thousand? He said, no, they wanted £1,250, because obviously where I live, blimey, that's really expensive. He said, yeah, but I asked them about the cipher, and they quoted me 450 So he's obviously uh, waiting for a cipher to come in, so he can uh, get one of those. Cheaper insurance. And all the bits and pieces that come with it, so less servicing, no tax, and a little bit more reliable. There's obviously nothing to do on an electric motor if it goes wrong, it's going to be a motor or a battery. So we're going to head back now. Lots of stuff happening on the tube this week. A friend of mine, JD, Jim Diesel, chatting about the new Hayabusa. Would you buy one? absolutely not and all these new hyper bikes that are all coming in and obviously with Euro 5 they've restricted the hell out of them cut down on the horsepower it's got to do this it's got to meet Euro emissions typical Bureau Brussels bureaucracy and obviously if you're buying a big bike I would say buy a retro but damn sight more horsepower I mean you can't beat an old carved bike but some people beg to differ, oh I like my fuel injected this, I like my fuel injected that, yeah. Keep it basic, keep it simple, carb bike. Good old standard electrics, less to go wrong. So heading back then, whatever you're doing this week, have yourself a good and don't forget we'll see you on the, uh, on the live streams if you happen to hang around, all the bikers that are all listed, down the bottom here. Have a look at the comments down the bottom there's loads of bikers that I follow and you can check them all out and they all do live streams most of them easiest way to find everything is off my website down here bottom right redbomb.co.uk pop on the social media page got links to the Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and links for Eclipse Motorcycles and also for my bike mover Andy. If you want to move a bike around the UK, Andy at Move Motorcycles moves a lot and he moves a lot of expensive bikes like the Harleys, the Indians and all the big bikes. 
So he's very good at what he does. As always, hit the subscribe button. Give it that big thumbs up. If not, ka -ching, hit that notifications up the top. That will tell you, hit the bell, it will tell you when the next video is on the way. Leave your comments down the bottom. Let me know what you think of all the new Euro 5 legislation, bikes coming out, etc, etc. Or just uh, leave your opinions. I love reading all those comments, guys. Thank you very much. We're at 1,300 subscribers now. And uh, my analytics are going absolutely mental. I'm spending about three hours a day just answering questions now. So whatever you're doing, if you're out riding this week, be well, ride safe, and as always, it's a big goodbye from me.